Hello, sports fans, sports betters, and YouTube Nation. John here with Rigget Picks. Hope everybody had a happy and safe New Year. Welcome to 2021. i uh, got my co-host here. She's up a little early. Uh, I was going to do this video last night, but um, it, yeah, it was just... Uh, I don't, don't want to say it was chaos. It was, it was a little crazy. She's getting teeth and a little fussy and not to... You know, we were up at midnight to ring in the New Year. I can say that, yeah. You say hi, everybody. Say Happy New Year, everybody. I got my Christmas thing here that I'm chewing on. Yeah, my little Christmas bear. Um, Patreon, last uh, last post of the year was a winner. The uh, teaser did not hit, but Michigan and Utah State had us covered in the NCAA basketball. Um, had Kawasaki front tail in the Japan League. Um, Should have took a money line. They won one to nothing. I had minus one, so that was a push. But um, two, two one and one overall. Um, both bowl games kind of surprised me. One of them did hit, end up hitting, but um, Ball State just came out and absolutely crushed San Jose State. Uh, San Jose was missing players, uh, found that out very late, uh, way late, way later than we should have. And, you know, there's a lot of teams missing players today also. Um, Georgia's missing a lot of players, so I expect Cincinnati, Georgia to, uh, you know, score. And maybe even Cincinnati to win uh, with Georgia missing a lot of players on defense there. So um, that's going to be something to look at that I like. But, um... I'm an Ohio State Buckeyes fan, and you guys know where I'm going. Ohio State, Clemson, today, 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. This is when this game goes off, I believe. Uh, right now, Clemson's favored by seven. Uh, Clemson's got a very, very, very good football team. Um, Ohio State feels as if uh, Clemson has disrespected them a little with uh, Dabo ranking them number 11. Um, I kind of agree with Dabo's reasoning. Um, Ohio State is a good football team. They would probably have finished 10-0, and 11-0, had they played a whole season, but they weren't allowed to in the Big Ten. They couldn't play any outside opponents. So, you know, we kind of had that, that whole thing going on there. But they took care of business when they needed to take care of business. They averaged 42.5 points a game. Um, they allowed 21 points a game. Clemson comes in. They're averaging 44.9 points a game. They're only allowing 17.5 um, it, 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 no bones about it. There's um, a little blood between these two um, from the prior years in the college football playoffs. And, um, you know, it just keeps adding to it. Uh, one thing Ohio State does well, <clears throat> excuse me, run the football. Average 275 yards rushing a game. Clemson's defense, they're only allowing 99.8 yards a game rushing. This is where the rubber meets the road. You got strength versus strength. Um, Clemson offensively. They're averaging 507 yards a game, 343 through the air. <clears throat> no mistake about it, the Buckeyes give up 261 yards through the air, 96.7 on the ground. Um, Clemson averages 163 yards on the ground. So, once again, you got Trevor Lawrence strength versus a, a little bit weaker Ohio State secondary this year than they have had in the past. Um, hopefully there's no um, questionable targeting calls that uh, lead to key players being removed from this game early. Um, offensively, the Buckeyes are putting up 529 yards a game, uh, 253 in the air, 275 on the ground. They have that rushing attack. Um, defensively, they're giving up 358 yards a game. Um, Clemson's only given up 298 yards a game. So Clemson's defense is the better defense here. Uh, Ohio State's defense has been suspect at times this year. I think both these teams come in ready to play. Um, obviously, we know Dabo's going to have his team ready. Ryan Day's going to have the Buckeyes ready. Um, you know, obviously, trying to play off that emotion from where Dabo ranked them and how Clemson is, is not showing them respect. So, you're going to have kids that are fueled. You're going to have coaching staffs that are fueled. Um, one big thing for Clemson, they have no offensive um, play caller. Um, all their offensive play callers that have been there over the past uh, five seasons – are, are not present, uh, either COVID sick, can't be there, or took jobs elsewhere and are not present at the game today. So we're going to see how that plays into it. I think it's going to have an effect on the game. At the end of the day, the kids are out there doing it, but if you have different play calls than what you're used to, you know, are you going to let Trevor, Trevor Lawrence call audibles? Um, how's that going to work? What's that going to go down? What's he going to feel like? Is he just going to be like, you know what, whatever play you call, we're going to do. It could be that. They could be that good. But I think it's going to have a small effect on the game. Um, I, I don't know that this game, the over-under right now is 68 and a half, and we'll, both these teams certainly could put up that easily against the respective defenses. I don't think that'll happen. 
Um, I'm going to go with the seven-point teaser in this game. I'm going to tease Ohio State up to plus 14. I'm going to tease the uh, under up to 75 and a half. So I'm going to go Ohio State plus 14 in this one. And the under at 75 and a half, I don't think it goes over that. So that's what we're going to do. Um, it's a $65 bet to win 50. And uh, that's how we're going to roll to start 2021. Obviously, uh, we finished strong on uh, my Patreon the last week of the 2020. So, you know, we're rocking and rolling. Last year's motto was let's rock 2020. This year's motto is let's build that stack. So, you guys, let's build that stack. I hope everybody has a great and happy uh, New Year's Day. Lots of football to watch. Um, you know, hopefully you had a safe night once again. Thank you very much for watching this video. Most importantly, good luck with your bets.